Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of review video and I'll be reviewing the black, uh, the rapid fire neck strap made by Altura. And uh, this is a quick release camera neck strap. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you appreciate variety, please go ahead and come back for more. If you only like review videos, there will be links in the description box below. So initially, I wanted to do an, an unboxing and review video of this product, uh, Rapid Fire Neck Strap, which I have it right here. But it looks like I don't need to do anything because you know this product, uh, because this product just simply doesn't work, and that's what I'll show you today. But before that, let's just go over some of the you know details here. So this is a shoulder strap, and you have a, a nice uh, pocket, which is a good thing. And then here is the plate which is going to you know attach to your camera and then this is what is holding your camera with the strap uh, via this uh, hook or carabiner so right here and there's an additional safety tether uh, it, this is just like you know backup safety in case like you know this one gets disconnected this one is still holding with your uh, holding your camera but the thing is you know I don't need to go over all these and anything because this product just simply doesn't work the problem is this is bigger than mirrorless cameras and it just like you know slides on top of it and it just doesn't work because you know your camera is going to be dragging here and there and when you uh, like you know put it on here uh, which I'll show you shortly so for that reason I'm not able to use this product and I didn't bother uh, you know to calling uh, them or returning it the product but I just wanted to let you know that, you know, unless you have a bulky, big DSLR camera, this is not going to work with a regular mirrorless camera. So what happens on their website, they don't, they don't mention anywhere that, you know, this is not meant for small or regular mirrorless cameras. It would work only for bulky cameras. So probably like, you know, many other people like me are going to buy and they're going to find out that uh, this doesn't work. So except that problem, that in terms of the like, you know, quality of the product is okay it's not bad uh, the idea is good uh, you know the second backup is also very nice but the thing is it just doesn't work with the regular uh, mirrorless camera so I'm going to have to switch my camera to show you why it doesn't work uh, because I'm going to be using the camera I'm uh, recording right now so I'll show you why it doesn't work and basically that's going to be my review so let me just change my setting and I'll show you why it doesn't work so for this part of uh, the video I'm just using my phone to record it because I have to show you how you know it works or it doesn't work so you're supposed to attach this uh, plate uh, underneath your camera or where the your camera you know mount a screw is or quarter inch thread so what happens if you just put it here okay so I made it tight as much as possible and now you're supposed to just you know slide uh, this hook into here which is fine so it's supposed to work this way but the problem is that this thing is not fixed with the base of the camera so you see it's just like you know moving and dragging so what happens when you put on your shoulder the camera is like you know running around on your shoulder and then this is like you know kind of like you know damaging the base of the camera because it's not fixed so you might want to say okay why don't you make it even tighter but you know you can just like you know put all the pressure or make it as much uh, as tighter as possible but still it doesn't work because see, it still keeps moving and if you put it keep it on your shoulder for like you know let's say like 10 20 minutes it gets even looser and then you might even like you know uh, release the camera from here so this just doesn't work for a small mirrorless camera but I have a feeling that uh, this might work with a big bulky camera because then it has more space to attach to the uh, base of the camera but if you have a regular mirrorless camera then most likely it's not gonna work so if you are going to buy this just you know uh, consider th these facts before you buying this but except this issue the materials and the like you know uh, everything else seems to be okay uh, it's just that it doesn't work so that's all i wanted to show you uh thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you